Hello, friends. Welcome to Coding Garden. Uh, welcome to this devlog where we are going to summarize the work we did on our project Listed, uh, which is an app that will allow users to create, share, and watch lists of YouTube channels. Uh, so first up, we merged quite a few uh, pull requests that are kind of just cleaning up the code base, not not necessarily adding new features, but just fixing some things for us. So uh, big thanks to Kuba Zero, uh, who uh, added a PR that changed uh, the camel casing uh, will change from underscore casing to camel casing in our database to be more consistent. Uh, and the way that they did that was with uh, Prisma's at map. So basically your Prisma model can have underscores in it, but you can map that to the database with camel casing. So thanks for doing that because now our, our models have are, are more consistent in that everything is camel cased. Um, they also uh, fixed uh, types for the custom Prisma adapter that we added last time. So uh, they went in and uh, defined uh, the specific type of the adapter and then now uh, extended or, or returned that kind of custom adapter here to so that we could remove all of those TS ignores. So thanks for doing that. Um, and then also uh, they fixed some of the TS ignores we had for throwing a redirect. So um, you, you might have noticed in the code whenever, uh, so this is a Svelte thing where we throw the redirect and we needed to disable a linter rule because this technically isn't an error object. But the way that they fixed it is they added a type that says the redirect extends error. So thanks for doing that. Um, and then also removed all of the ESLint ignore comments all over the code base because now we're not, we're not, uh, we don't have that. That rule has been fixed because of the type. Um, this is a PR from uh, Bolek Nowak, who fixed the redirect that we created uh, in the last stream. So we had some logic that said, um, if the user is logged in and they have been onboarded and we're not going to the homepage, um, redirect to the homepage. But the probably a better way of writing this logic is if the user is logged in and they have been onboarded and they're trying to go to onboarding, take them back to the homepage because there potentially will be some routes inside of protected that are not onboarding that we don't want to redirect them from. So uh, thanks for that fix. Uh, next up is the work we actually did on stream. So first we fixed a warning in the uh, linter. So there was an issue opened up that talked about when you were running lint, there was this parsing error that would pop up uh, when the linter was running. And the way that we fix that is by removing Svelte from the settings import parser TypeScript ESLint parser. Uh, and the reason we were able to do that is because in our ESLint config, there's already an override section where we're overriding for Svelte files. So it didn't make sense to have Svelte here. And once we removed that, the, the warning from the console was gone. So uh, I'm really glad that we figured that out. Uh, the other thing we did was we updated dependencies in the project. Um, so we used a an interactive tool called npm-upgrade. It tells you uh, what all of the latest dependencies are, and um, you can pick and choose which one you want to update. But uh, since we're early in the project, we just updated everything and then fixed anything that broke. Um, and uh, so you can see our package JSON now has all of the latest versions. And one of the things we did have to fix uh, had to do with Skeleton. So uh, Skeleton had one more uh, version bump that had breaking changes, but they're actually now in release candidate. So um, there won't, hopefully won't be any breaking changes going forward and they'll stabilize and release a version one. But we did have to do a couple of updates because we were doing some custom stuff with the light switch component. Um, and for now, I actually just removed the drop down menu because they have a new way of creating menus and that needed to be updated uh, anyways. So I just removed it uh, until... Um, we're, we're actually ready to have a drop down menu with with more menu item uh, menu items and stuff like that. So uh, that was great. Uh, and then the next thing we did was a little bit of documentation. So in the code base, we're, we're using Prisma for our database. And um, I wanted to have an ERD or an entity relationship diagram for our database so that new contributors can look at the ERD and and get an idea for the data, how the data is structured in our database. We did that using a Prisma plugin. Uh, so uh, we added this Prisma ERD generator markdown, which we actually created ourselves. So we forked Prisma ERD generator, which has uh, the ability to generate markdown, but also like images and PDFs. But there was an issue with its dependencies. We wanted a version that only does markdown. So we forked it. Uh, and now um, it generates this uh, mermaid file. Uh, so mermaid is a, a syntax for being able to create essentially diagrams from text. Uh, and so this mermaid diagram represents an entity relationship diagram. 
but we updated our Prisma schema file to say we want to use that plugin and it should output to a file called erd.md. Uh, but what's nice about Mermaid inside of Markdown is GitHub will actually render it. So if you look at this erd file in our Prisma folder, it actually has uh, the erd that gets generated. And now this actually will stay in sync uh, with our Prisma schema. So anytime we add new tables or add new columns, the diagram will auto regenerate. And so this diagram is always going to be up to date, which is pretty nice. And lastly, we updated our, our basic end to end tests with Playwright. Um, so, so that they actually make sense for the page. Cause before it was just the generated test that came with our spell kit app, but we wanted to test it against our, our page and make sure that everything was working and get it hooked into GitHub actions and commit hooks as well. So in this change, we updated uh, in the test folder, tests slash test.ts, and we changed it from that default test, which is testing for welcome to spell kit. And now we're testing uh, to make sure that listed.tv is on the page. Um, there's a couple of other things we changed. So like right now, our dependency on tabler icons was actually making the build time and the test time really, really long. Uh, so for now, we just commented this out so that the test would run faster and the builds would run faster. So that's going to be, it's gonna, we're going to need to fix that in the future. Um, the other thing is whenever the tests are running, they're running a preview build, which is not running on the, the default Vite port. It's running on 4173. So we needed to add trust host here in our Svelte kit auth uh, for, the, for the auth to still work when we're running on a different port. And then we updated our commit hooks. So now we uh, uh, sync the types, we run a type check, we run the linter, and we run the tests anytime a commit happens. Um, and we also updated the... Uh, GitHub action. So uh, we renamed it to run checks because this does all of the same things anytime there's a new pull request. Uh, and one one minor fix as well is you also need to run this Playwright install before running tests. So that way it has the browsers that it can use to, to install. Um, and now that we have that, whenever you make a PR, it also is running those basic tests. In the future, we obviously want to expand these. We want to be testing most of the functionality of the application, but I at least wanted to get this setup going for now. Uh, and that's it for this devlog. So if you found this useful or any of the other content on Coding Garden, definitely consider supporting me. If you visit coding.garden slash support, it has all the ways you can support me and also a table of how much profit I get depending on how you decide to support me. But if you did that, I would really appreciate it. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this and be sure to tune in on Twitch, twitch.tv slash coding garden. Every Friday, we're working on this exact same app uh, and I'd love to see you in the chat. So see ya.